Okay, you guys, welcome back to my HBCU Confessionals blog. Um, this week's blog is on relationships in college and whether they work or do not work. So I was just, you know, here reflecting on my past relationships in college and in high school and stuff like that and what I thought about them. I just want to share it with you guys. So personally, college is a fun experience with a lot of new attractive people, you know, who doesn't love attractive people from all over and uh, I just think it just depends on the type of person you are whether or not I personally believe you should be in a relationship during college or not um, it can be fun if you do it the right way but then you have to understand that we are still young and you don't want to get yourself into something that you're not ready for because a lot of people come to college to have fun but you might meet that special person during your college years because a lot of people do. So I don't want to discourage anybody from wanting to be in a relationship during college. I just think that we should be wise about the decisions on who we choose to be with. Um, personally, um, from personal experiences, I can say that um, it's hard and that it takes a lot in a strong heart and a strong mind in everything to you know want to continue a relationship with somebody in college because it can be really challenging because it's just so many opportunities um to mess up and we're young so we don't really have much experience because we're, we only hit the prime of our life so i don't know I'm gonna get back to you guys on this one. Yeah. You know, relationships in college, they can and cannot last. The reason being is because if it's a long distance relationship, uh, well, I could say long distance relationship, I don't think that they will last long unless it's, the trust is really there. The reason is because if you think about it, you know what I'm saying, you usually have people who, who you, you find at your college, you know, that, that, that you find interesting and then you start to talk to and you start, you know, branching out because the people who are in your, uh, the people who, who you have back at home, whatever, they, you know, they have the people that, that they probably talk to. It's, it's just it's the same thing. But then again, it can, it, it can last if you find somebody at, at, at your school because, you know, y'all going to start, uh, you know, Find the, the, the connection, y'all can find the vibe, you know, common interest, and y'all start, you know, talking to each other, and, you know, it, it might work out. Relationships in college are overrated until you get to your senior year. Okay. It might become serious. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what I was going to say. Your side piece. Oh, yeah, just keep you a couple side pieces, you know. Couple. So, yeah. Can't go wrong with three. <laughs> but no, that's how I feel about just everything that's just overrated. I don't think you should be in a relationship in college. Just keep you a couple side pieces. Come on, you gotta have something to say. I don't. Does it work for you? Yeah. Why it work? Because it's just a dude. Well, who am I looking at here? The camera? Because <laughs> y'all stay on each other's ass and you're faithful. I'm proud of you. So hey, you guys, um, I finally had time to sit and think about my views on relationships in college, and I just wanted to share like, a little bit of what's going on with me right now, um, and maybe my story can help, you know, somebody else not go through with what I'm going through, because it hurts, so, you know. It's kind of hard when you don't really expect to find somebody in college that you're going to like because it's college, like, who, you know, especially your first year, who takes anything seriously. But I kind of, you know, found someone who liked me or whatever, and we hung out a lot, like, a lot, a lot, you know, between classes, lunch, after school, whatever, after classes and stuff. And it was going really, you know, really well. And, um, yeah, until, you know, like he, he's a guy so you you can only expect niggas to do nigga shit and we're in college so it's not like um 
I wasn't expecting it or he knew it was was gonna happen or whatever because he didn't know because he's a guy and you know but yeah like him and my friend like messed around when she knew that I really liked him and she liked somebody else so I don't see why she would even do that to me because it hurt and it's like of course I'm mad at him too because that's my friend like why would you you know get at my friend or whatever but he's a guy so you can only be mad to a certain extent but on behalf of my friend like what what is that like how do you tell me oh you know whatever you guys can work this out you know like you guys are gonna you know whatever she's saying like telling me when she knows she kissed him and did whatever she did with him and it's just like how do I even how do I even trust her after that like how am I even supposed to move on to friendship like now so that's you know has to do with my views on relationships now in college and personally I just think that we're still young and we should take our time and not you know rush into anything and just know that I'm here like if you don't feel like anyone's there for you I, I, I'm here I understand so feel free to like contact me if you guys ever want to talk I'm always free um you can hit me up on Twitter it's probably the fastest way to get to me but um yeah relationships are tough but they they can work so don't be discouraged. Just know we, we all go through this stuff. At least once once a life we're all gonna get heartbroken. We're all gonna have somebody betray us and and uh, yeah. Just just know just know I'm here.